city gonna set my soul on fire. Welcome to Las Vegas, the entertainment capital of the world, and home to the running rebels of UNLV. Today, we're set for a clash between these two rivals from the Mountain West. As we'll see, the Utah State Aggies taking on the UNLV Rebel. For EA Sports College Football, by Reese Davis, joined here in the booth by David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. And guys, let's get this thing started. Utah didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. The Rebels' offense takes the field. And here's the man they rally around, and he has earned that type of respect, David. You dang right. You earn it by doing it, and he's done it at such a high level. Everyone believes in this young man, and Palmer, there's a reason why. You're right, David. He's been in the big moments, and he's won the big games. This guy delivers when the game is on the line. And a really nice run and pick up there before the defense avoided disaster and stopped the really big play. They'll snap this one from the 30 on first and 10. Pulls it and fires to the left. And the defense coming with bad intentions. They knock him down for a loss. He was not fooled on that one. You know, a lot of times you want to buy space, and you throw this route really when it's off coverage. But you could tell the cornerback was up, ready to come, pounce on that screen, and get the tackle for a loss. Quarterback on the keeper. And he's a real nowhere man tackled in this no-game land. I don't think the quarterback made the right read on that play. I know they're asking a lot of this QB. He's got a lot to focus on with the pass game and all the different types of runs that they have in their playbook. But on that play there, that pre-snap look told me to hand it off. Third and long, and he'll try to throw for it. Going downfield for the big play. He holds it in, and nobody's close. And they'll do more than move the chains. They'll move that thing more than 30 yards down the field before he's finally stopped. You know, this offense knew coming into the game they were going to get some opportunities to take shots down the field. They feel like they've got the guys on the perimeter to win one-on-one, -on -one, and you saw it right there. And the Rebels want to pick up the tempo. They'll go to the ground. And a nice run there before the defense finally makes the stop. You want to talk about making it easy for an offensive coordinator. You pick up a bunch of yards on first down, make that second down really, really manageable. That's a great job by the offense. The big pickup on first down leaves them with second and one. They go to the draw. They get him on the ground after he gets it up to move the sticks. I think throughout the week in practice, when they were game planning their opening script, I don't even know if they envisioned it going as well as it has. This has been beautiful. Nice balance, really nice rhythm. It feels like everything they're dialing up here on their first drive of the game is working to perfection. The Rebels have it with a first and ten. From the shotgun, the inside give. And he's able to shed one tackle and gets a pretty good pickup. I think tackling is about effort most of the time. It's about how much passion, how much physicality you can bring to get your guy on the ground. Refuse not to get him on the ground. That's not a big back. You've got to get that guy on the ground. You can't let him pick up an extra couple yards and stay ahead of the sticks. They've got him looking run. Now they're going to throw it. And it's caught! Touchdown, Rebels! want to talk about a great way to start the game and set the tone early. It's so nice to have a quarterback just get himself into the game, get himself established. You make a couple throws, you lead your offense down the field, you score right off the bat. Could not have been a better start for that QB. Getting set for the point after. And the PAT makes it 7-0. So a drive there of 84 yards. 
and they cap things off with a nine-yard touchdown pass. Kickoff team has the ball teed up, and they're about ready to go. On the run from inside his own five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. So the UNLV Rebels offense has its first opportunity of the day. A big challenge for both of these quarterbacks, Jesse, is dealing with a ball-hawking free safety on the other side. Well, you're right, Reese. QBs better be good with their eyes. Better not stare down wide receivers in this one, because if you float the ball down the middle of the field, that's getting picked. And these guys are going to be right in the middle of the field, flying all over the field, and quarterbacks will make sure that they are locked in and not throwing the ball near those guys. Guys, that's the end of the quarter, and UNLV has the edge. We put one in the books. Let's have a look at our game summary. Heading in the opposite directions now as we crank it up in the second. Got a little work done on first down. Now back to the line. They go to the ground. Into the pile. Maybe got one. He stopped at the 21. I'll tell you, this is a running back who's very, very dangerous, and the defense did a good job getting him down there. But they got to do a great job gang tackling because this is a guy that can break tackles and turn those types of plays into home runs. Utah State up tempo. Trying to move the sticks on third down through the air. A strike downfield. Such a big part to convert these third downs, and they've got it at the 42. Third down, a lot of times, it comes down to not necessarily who's the most open, who do you trust the most? No, it's not about the X's and the O's. It's about the Jimmy's and the Joe's. And when my guy's better than you and I get you matched up out wide and I know I trust you, I'm finding you. Wants to throw on first down. Nice defensive play to get a hand in there and knock it away. Yeah, that was a good play on the ball, getting his hand up and getting the tip, getting the deflection. Ball bounces up in the air, falls to the ground, incomplete pass. Couldn't connect on that last play. Now second and ten from the 42. Couldn't connect on first down. Now back to the air. Caught in the backfield. It's Lane. He is stopped behind the line of scrimmage. They'll lose yards on that one. They're able to find the tight end for an easy completion, but good job tackling, not allowing him to get the first down. They've got a good chunk of ground to cover on third and long from the 41. He wants to throw it again. Unloads to the wideout. Makes a connection. They make the stop, but not before they do their work up top and pick up a first down. Wow, and what a great job by that quarterback finding his open receiver on third down. You know, guys, one of the most telling stats at the end of the game is third down conversion percentage. If you're a great third down team, it's invaluable to your offensive success, and that's why teams drill third down so much in practice. Off the play fake on first down. And the pass is intercepted. Takes it the other way. He's at the 30. The 10. Touchdown, Rebels. The defense puts six on the board with a big-time interception return. Look, a lot of time left. There's a little bit of distance right now being put on the score. There it is, but it's so awesome when you're in defense and you study all week about what's coming and what routes to be ready for, and then you jump the route and you make the play and you just go get in that end zone. It is so beautiful. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And the extra point pushes the lead to 14. They'll 
kick it off and send that defense right back out there to try to score again after the pick six. And he takes this from inside the five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. Guys, the Utah State offense about to give it another go. This is when the pressure can ramp up a little bit on an offense, David, when they start feeling the heat to answer a score. And I think being down 14, you can kind of feel that way. But, dude, if you put a good drive together, this is a seven-point game. So, Palmer, no need to pay him. I was just going to say, David, I mean, this thing can flip quick. You go down, score, all of a sudden your defense gets a stop, or who knows, better yet, gets a turnover. This game is entirely We've reached the two-minute warning, and this thing has been one-sided, and they hope to at least have something to feel good about going into halftime. They'll line up for a second down play. He's looking to throw. Finds his man. It's Lane. He's brought down quickly. Minimal gain there. Still a bit short of the first down. A nice job by the defense there, tackling the catch and smothering the tight end. They know this offense is going to try to find him in the passing game in a lot of different situations. That time, perfect coverage, and nice job bringing the big guy down. Not easy to do. They're going to go to the air on third and short. Oh, they really could have used that catch there. Physical pass defense. It brings up a fourth down. Third and short like that on your own side of the field. You're just looking for a quick hitter. You're trying to get the ball out of your hand quickly, but the timing completely off there for the offense. The ball falls in. Utah State will be forced to send out the punt team. He will signal for the fair catch and take it just inside the 35. Guys, the running Rebels offense ready to go back to work. They've jumped on them, executing at a high level and up 14-0, David. This is the exact start you want. I mean, offense is playing great. Defense has gotten stops. You're in a position now, Palmer, to put the hammer down and get a three-possession lead. I'm really impressed with their physicality on both sides of the ball early in this one. They've been winning in the trenches. So here on offense, keep running the football and show your dominance. Looking downfield, it's Sluka. And the pass, it's picked off! Not a lot on the return, but they can win with that as they've got it at the 49. Really nice job there by the defense, because I think they baited the QB into trying to fit that one in over the middle of the field. Remember, it's a big zone coverage. They've all got their eyes on him back there in the pocket, and they just let him feel like, maybe I can fit this football in. Not so fast. They come away with the pick. Utah State has it back, ready to go to work on offense. Not a lot of time left here in the half. Let's see if they can cut into this lead. And this drive isn't a... And they got him. He'll get him down for the sack. A timeout is called as this offense tries to find a way to get more points on the board before the half. After the big first down sack, it's second down. They're trying to get to it. That pass is incomplete, and they might be fortunate. It wasn't knocked free for a fumble. It'll be third down. Yeah, and it fell incomplete because he did a great job of getting to the quarterback. He's in the pocket. Yeah, he's, he's comfortable, but you get in there, and you get a hit on him. Now he feels it. Can't throw the football. Can't follow through with his arm motion. Nice job by the defense. The give on the inside. And sure, tackling there to keep him from getting to the first down marker. Referee signals timeout. It's the defense wanting to make sure that they have everything just right with a big play coming. Utah State will be forced to send out the punt team. Doesn't say much for your drive when you're looking forward to the punt. Let's see what he can do with it. They'll put that return to a stop at the 33, but the offense set up in pretty good field position. Okay, so here comes the offense returning to the field. He'll start this drive firing. Got it behind the line. It's Thomas. And the defense had that one well covered. Just a short game there. Well, he comes up with the reception, but not a lot of room to run after that. Yeah, and I like the QB doing this. I mean, I'm going to find ways to give him the football and 
see if he can make a miss. And I'm going to bet most of the time that my guy is a little bit more athletic than that defensive guy. Defense won this battle, but I like trying to get this guy the ball in space. A huge play, and they get it all the way to the 45-yard line. The offense calls timeout. It's the second one they've used this half. And there was no question in that scenario. That's where the quarterback was going. He knew he had his receiver in a matchup that he liked, running a route where he would find himself open. Nice job between those two. He's all the way down to the 27-yard line, and they are threatening. It is so good for an offense early in the game to get in a rhythm and to start stringing first downs together. It makes the game really easy and puts that defense in a situation where they're starting to get tired. They want to sub. They want to get other guys on the field. Stringing first downs together like this makes it hard to defend. And he's able to shed one tackle and pick up pretty good yardage. They'll use a timeout right before halftime. Maybe time for one or two more plays. And here on second down, they'll send out the field goal unit to try to get three before the break. The kicker will reach for a 36-yard attempt. Between the uprights, it's good. And now the lead is extended a little farther. That late in the half field goal always gives you a little boost going to the locker room, and they'll need to finish off these final few seconds and not allow them to answer. He'll bring it out from inside his own 10. And the return man is stopped, and that'll leave it up to the offense on the next drive. We've played two quarters here. Time to go to Kevin Connors in our halftime update. All right, guys, a delightful first two quarters of football there today in Vegas. It's been a fun start to this one, and this offense has really been the story. They've opened up a sizable lead, and unless something drastic changes, things might get even more out of hand. A combination of lethal efficiency, and that offensive line has been the key. They've mauled that defense and also just about broken their will. And with that, let's send it back to the fellas inside Allegiant Stadium. Looks as if we are set to crank it up here in the second half. He'll start the return inside his five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. Utah State sending its offense back onto the field. After giving up that score, now it's incumbent on this offense to kind of get a back and forth going, Jesse, in this game. They got to put some points on the board here. There's obviously a lot of football to go, so it's not necessarily panic time just yet, but I'm getting the ball into the hands of my best playmakers on this drive. Uh, I hear you, Jesse, but not panic time. Have you seen my defense? I, I mean, I'm not trusting them to get a lot of stops, so it puts a lot of pressure on this offense. The play action fake. Shoots it to the left. It's complete. Breaks a tackle and he's got room. They got him free for a big gainer to the 43. Man, this offense is so dangerous, Reese. They've got dudes all over the field that can make plays. There's a big gainer in the pass game. You get a chunk of yards like that, now the defense is really on its heels. Utah State, up tempo. to the air on first down. And it's incomplete. If you're going to take a hit like that, you might as well hang on to the ball. Now on second down. From the gun, running back on the move. A pickup of eight now to convert this third and two. 
football is about adjustments. First half, line up, pound strong, pound strong. The second half, great job. You're going to move your defense, shift to try to account for that. Boom, we'll pull some guys and run a counter backside and have some success. Third down, and this offense is already in a world of trouble. They could really use a conversion, not to mention multiple scores. To the ground to try to pick up the first. And the defense knew exactly where that first down line was, and they stopped him short. Well, the offense tries to pick up that first by running it on third down. No can do, and that's really been the theme all game long. This defense has just been better at the point of attack, shutting down this run game. With a double-digit deficit here in the second half, they're going to go for it on fourth down. He'll try to throw and pick up the first down. The incomplete pass ends a frustrating series, and they turn it over on downs. First down for this offense. On the option. You want to make sure to maximize those types of runs, and he gets it out to the 41. Coaches always harp about staying ahead of the chains, and when you can run with that type of efficiency on first down, man, you are doing just that. Six-yard pickup on first down. Leaves him with second and four. They'll try the right side. And they'll bring him down, but not before he picks up the first down. This is an offense that really sees their identity as being able to run the football. Nice job there picking up the first down. The offense setting up shop at the 46, first and 10. He'll ride his man on the option. Sweet cut there. And he froze that defender. He thought he was going to pitch it, kept it himself, and turned it into a big play. Well, this is one of the fastest quarterbacks in college football, and that's why the option's a good idea, because if he can get out in space and he has a chance to get downfield, he is really difficult to tackle, and he's very difficult to catch, as you saw in that last play, getting a first down. And this one will be stopped for no gain. As they get set to snap it, just about to reach the end of the quarter. Guys, that's the end of the quarter, and UNLV has the edge. And they are starting to pull away as we come to the end of the third quarter. Let's take a look at how we got here. One more period to go, and we'll see just how much fight they've got left in them. Here comes the offense on second down. They'll switch it up here and look to throw. Complete to the left. And he's brought down after a nice game. I think most offenses around the country in a situation like this with the lead late would be trying to run the football, right? Or throw it short and try to bleed the clock. But this offense, man, it's still pedal to the metal. They're looking for chunk play opportunities. And the Rebels come to the line with a fresh set of downs. They're in the red zone, and they'll pass it. How about that play to get a hand in there and force the incompletion? I'm a little bit surprised they're still throwing the football here this late in the game with this kind of lead. They're on first down, taking a shot, falls incomplete, but obviously they're still seeing matchups that they want to take advantage of in the back end of this defense, so they're letting it fly. After the quarterback and receiver failed to hook up, they'll try it again on second down. Unleashes one deep. Throw into the end zone, and it's picked off. The most frustrating thing I see in football is when teams give up, and they quit, and they wave the white flag. It drives me nuts. You're on the field. Your job is to stop them. It doesn't matter what the scoreboard is. It doesn't matter how much time is left. Keep fighting. Keep grinding. You never know what can happen. Maybe you get hot. Maybe you make an all-time comeback. Guys, the Utah State offense about to give it another go. There have been a couple of missed opportunities for these offenses in the last couple of drives, Jesse. And I think... And the defense makes a play, sacking him back at the 10. I love the defensive effort there. They didn't get him right away. They stayed after him. He was scrambling, going backwards. They get the sack on the first play of the drive.
State up tempo. On second down, looking to throw. Using the quick game. They make the stop, trying to pick up just a little bit at a time to get to that first down marker. And that's perfect for the defense. You'll give that up all day. You're winning this game by multiple possessions late in the game. Play big zone coverages, keep the ball in front of you, and tackle the ball carrier inbounds. You make up the game plan and not a lot on the play sheet for this. Third and long from inside their own 20. Looking to throw, and he needs a bunch. And a missed opportunity on third down as the defense knocks it free, and fourth down is coming up. This defense has just been all over this guy all game long. Under pressure, they're finding a way to get to him and affect his rhythm. Of course, they have an interception in this game. That's why they've got a big lead here in the fourth quarter. This guy has never gotten into a rhythm. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. He'll call for the fair catch here. UNLV ready to go back to work on offense. Boy, they had that last drive moving a little bit, David, but then the mistake just crushed them. Yeah, and those mistakes are going to hit the gas, kid, wide open ahead. Touchdown, UNLV! And the pummeling has started. Man, I am a great play caller when I can hand it to guys like that. He can go that far to the house, create big plays, showed you a little bit of vision, showed you a little bit of burners, and he kicked it in here got the long touchdown. Now they'll line up for what they hope is automatic. The kick is up and good and put one more on the lead. What a way to send a message. Huge play in the running game. One snap and you've got a touchdown on the board. Kickoff team is on by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes and they'll stop him at the 16. Utah State has it back ready to go to work on offense. Looking to move it through the air. They're working that left side. And they pick up just a few on that completion. Here's the deal. You're down three possessions. You know, it doesn't feel likely they're going to come back and win, but we've seen crazier stuff happen in college football. It all starts with a big completion on a two-minute drive. They'll get the momentum started in your direction. Wants to throw on second down. Pulls it in. He'll get it up to about the 32-yard line before he stopped, and it'll be first down. And when you get zone coverage and you're running curls and the wide receiver sprints off the ball, you know what happens is that DB starts to bail and that wide receiver comes back and it's easy pitch and catch for the offense. They'll snap this one from the 32. It's first down. He's looking to throw it. He's taking a deep shot late in the game. And it goes through his hands. Oh, he had an explosive play right there for the taking, but couldn't reel it in. And this is just one of those days, man, where everything has gone wrong, right? Like, they just haven't been in a rhythm. They haven't they haven't got it going and never built the momentum. This is, this is one of those days that you learn from, you try to grow from. A lot of things that we're going to show in the film room that people aren't going to like, but hopefully you can learn from it and do better next time. They get it up, rush, and it pays off the sack at the 20. And man, is that a just indictment of the day. Your quarterback getting drilled late in the football game. This offense has sputtered. They haven't found any kind of good rhythm. They haven't done things that, that really gives your coach confidence and, and makes you want to believe in them. This offense has a lot of work to do before their next football game. Not exactly the ideal situation for this offense. Third and long, backed up inside their 20. Here's a throw downfield late. Got his man. They immediately call timeout, trying to preserve every second they can to try to rally here late. And just when you thought they were finished, and they've looked finished the whole game, finally a play to give some hope. 
And so they got to make this count, and they got to put some points on the board and pay this one off. Race. It's been tough sledding for this offense all game long, but maybe, just maybe, that play will wake them up. Really nice job by quarterback and wide receiver. This is why you do film work. This is why you throw on air all offseason. I know I get zone coverage. I know exactly where I'm breaking. I know exactly where to deliver the football. Nice throw, nice catch. Catch in the middle, it's Lane. They've got it inside the 30. They'll mark it at the 28. It's first down. The offense gets a quick timeout at this point. Every second is precious. And the Aggies with the first and 10. Back to the air one more time. Short throw to the sideline is complete, and he's out of bounds. He'll be short of the first down. And I know this football game is over, but we got to keep fighting. We got to keep finding something, some kind of rhythm in this offense, something we can hang our hat on that we do really, really well. Listen, the intermediate passing game like this has taken over college football, short to intermediate. So if they can find some of this, it'll help their offense moving forward. On target. And they wrap him up, but not before he's got enough for the first down. Nice job by the running back catching the football and understanding where the first down marker was. I got to go get that first down. Did a nice job of it. Inside the 15, first and 10 from the 14. He's going to pass. They're bringing heat. He's got it and still on his feet. They'll get it down to the eight-yard line on that throw and catch, and the defense is backed up against the wall. And this offense is going to have to find more explosive plays. And it's, it's, it can't just rely on the dink and dunk. It's going to have to find itself and score more points. Listen, they got beat up today. But moving on in the future, they've got some good pieces. they got to find a way to fit them together, create some explosive plays on this offense. Because the tick, 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 clock winding down, and they're in for the touchdown. And a nice touchdown, continuing to fight, continuing to play. This one, it, it's pretty much over. Down multiple possessions this late in the football game. It, it would take a miracle, but nice job by this offense, continuing to fight, push the ball down the field, make plays. My philosophy on going for two is only when you have to. They'll try to pound their way in. He's not going to make it in, and the decision to go for two does not work out. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. Looking for an alley from inside his own 10. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. Running out the clock seems to be a mere formality here as they are ready to snap it in victory formation.